One year ago, this clinic in the Kakoma refugee camp was packed with patients and most had to wait hours to see a doctor or nurse. That's because there wasn't a constant power supply. Healthcare providers say the unreliable power supply causes vaccines to spoil and staff to stop working when they are using essential medical and diagnostic devices. Now, with solar power panels installed, there are fewer patients waiting. The clinic can provide services more hours per day and treat the sick in a few minutes. This solar installation has improved, has, uh, improved um, the services for us, especially in the lab. One, uh, we can be able to store reagents here for, for uh, lab equipment to be used during um, the time of uh, examination. And we are also able to keep sustain a uh, um, uh, cold chain for immunization for children under five. Before solar power, the outlook for students who wanted to get an education looked bleak. However, the introduction of solar power energy in Kakuma is providing opportunities to students who want to further their studies. In the camp, there is after primary, secondary school, there is, there is no chance maybe to go to to do higher education. But if there is internet here and then it can it help us even open door for, for us to do further education and have chance at least to to have more skills and and do so many things. According to aid agencies, authorities have long neglected refugee camps and rural areas. But a few companies like Baybox are venturing in to provide alternative energy sources. The private sector is making them more and more affordable, and it's actually, they can do provide better services than governments can provide. Instead of somebody living in a refugee camp or settlement, waiting for the government to come and you know, solve their problem, you can get two or three or four companies coming in, offering you different solutions that you can pay for. More than 80% of Kakuma's population still doesn't have access to clean, reliable energy, officials say. But that number is starting to shrink as solar panels gain in popularity. Mohamed Yusuf for VA News, Kakuma, Kenya.